Hey, all right, it's time for another Dueling Excel podcast. Today's question came in from YouTube. Someone said, hey, I have a range of numbers. There's some zeros in the range. I want to average the non-zero cells. And the average function is going to throw those zeros in, of course. So it's going to take the, the total of all this divided by 20 to get that average. Uh, so I have a couple of methods I'm going to use, and then we'll throw it over to Mike and see what Mike has. First thing I'm going to do is use Control-H and say I want to find all of the zeros and replace with nothing. Now, the important thing, match entire cell con contents and say replace all. Click OK. And now that gets rid of the nine zeros and our average now, when I recalc, is up from 1820 to 3276. Uh, cooler way to go, I'm not sure if it's faster or anything like that, is to use control F for find. Find all zeros, match entire cell contents, find all, and then here's the cool thing, I press control A to select all of those cells. We can close and now press the delete key and that will delete all of those numbers and we now get the right average. Well, that's great if you're allowed to delete the zeros, but this person at YouTube did not want to delete the zeros. So let's throw this over to Mike and see if Mike can come up with a formula to figure out the average excluding the zeros. Thanks, Mr. Excel. Hey, so we got the values here and we, we want to get an average without a zero there. Uh, I'm going to do two methods. One that'll be a non-array formula, one that's an array formula. Oh, probably the, one of the easier ways is just to add up and divide by the count when it's greater than zero. So I will Alt equals, get that range there, and that's added up. And then we'll just divide by count if, and the range will be that same range A1 to A20, comma and the criteria. We can do it one of two ways. I'm going to start off by saying not zero. So double quotes less than, greater than, zero, and double quote, close parentheses. The not zero would pick up anything that's not zero, so it would actually include negatives. Hit enter, and there's our value. We could also do this if we did want to exclude any negatives and really only do greater than zero, well, then we could just do greater than zero. So the sum and count if, great way to go. We could also do an array formula average function and then right inside the average function we'll do if and we'll just ask is anything in that range right there um, if that range is greater than zero then what do we want that range whatever's in that range what that will do is give us some trues and falses there this is uh, the if function and this argument is expecting a single logical test. The fact that we're going to give it an array of logical tests uh, will convert it to an array formula and those trues and falses will relate to these ranges. Only when there's a true there will it pick up the uh, value there. I can close parentheses. I do not need the value of false. Close parentheses. And then this is an array formula so I have to hold control shift and enter. All right, uh, I'll throw it back to Mr. Excel. Mike, now that is really cool, but I couldn't believe this. You said in this array formula, we don't have to put the value if false. What's going on there? I can't understand how that can work. So I came over here to the right-hand side, and I built 20 individual formulas that do what your one array formula did. And I see that I get numbers when the number is greater than zero, and I get false when the value is zero. And then the average, the average is working, but I can't figure out how, because that false should be treated like a zero. So we go into equal average, open parenthesis, and I type the fx here, which is a great way to get to help for a specific function. And I start to read through, and all the way down here in remarks, sure enough, logical values that you type directly into the list of arguments are counted, but if a range or cell reference argument contains text, logical values, or empty cells, those values are ignored. Brilliant. Basically converting those zeros to falses and using this uh, second bullet point, third bullet point here in the remarks in Excel help to your advantage. Brilliant. Now, hey, one last solution here, and this is only if you are in Excel 2007 or newer, equal average if brand new function they added to Excel 2007, we'll take a look at this range and then comma and use Mike's trick greater than, less than, zero in quotes will do the average if. Much faster way to go if you're in Excel 2007.
2007. All right, hey, I want to thank you for stopping by on behalf of Mike and myself. We'll see you next time for another Dueling Excel podcast.